sent through a challenge and it said, if I could describe my character, in my case, Eddie, as a biscuit, which one would I choose and why? Interesting. Okay, so Eddie is an everyday man. Everyone kind of knows who he is, but growing up, nobody really picked Eddie for anything. So, yeah, let's see if you can decide at the end of the footage. Taron. Who guards the river between this life and the next? Do not eat biscuits. Mm. No. Oat cakes is all that Sharon can eat. Dry, without flavor or sweetness. No biscuits for Sharon. Hi guys, I'm Nathan and I am playing Lucifer. And Lucifer is a Jaffa cake. Um, so first of all, Jaffa cakes have layers. You have the chocolate and then the middle bit and the sponge at the bottom. Um, very clearly layered and Lucifer has layers too. Um, I'm trying not to go into the whole Shrek onion thing. But um, yeah, he, he's got these layers and when you leave the musical, you should look back and you know, part of you should think, oh, that guy was awesome, I loved him. And at the same time, you should hate him whilst being disgusted, whilst feeling sorry. And there's so many more and all these things should build up who he is. And if you aren't experiencing each of those things by the time you leave the theater, if you haven't experienced that, I've not done my job correctly. So hopefully you do. Um, following on from that, Jaffa Cakes. You don't, you don't really know where you stand with a Jaffa Cake. Is it a cake or is it a biscuit? And that's very much like Lucifer. You won't know where you stand with him. You won't, you won't know whether he's a friend or if he's an enemy. One second he's having a go at you, the next second he's charming you. Um, so yeah, you, you don't know where, where you stand with him. And the beauty of it is, is you might think one thing about him and leave and have a, oh yeah, that guy was awesome, for example. Someone else will think the opposite and... That's exactly like a Jaffa cake. You might be sat watching this video going, oh, Jaffa cakes are a, are a biscuit. Someone else thinks the opposite. Someone somewhere thinks it's a cake or vice versa. And that's exactly the whole thing with Lucifer. It's the whole love and hate and different people seeing the same thing, but taking different things from it. And that is why Lucifer is like a Jaffa cake. If I were to look upon myself as biscuit, Garibaldi springs to mind. Hmm. That a man should be so perfidious he whom next the world all I loved, my cup is chocolate finger. And to him put the management of my state, which, as at that time, through all the custard creams, was the first. And I, McVitty McVitty, being so reputed in dignity, and for the wagon wheels, <clears throat> those being all my study. The government I cast upon my brother, whom to my state grew, mm, yes, mm, wagon wheel, and not pervading the thoughts that enter one's mind to man would be to speak that not of caprice digestives rather un boogie woogie woogie ish would not one think boogie woogie woogie get down boogie woogie woogie get down boogie Cerberus <laughs> yeah Somebody asked me what biscuit I would be. If I was a biscuit, what biscuit would I be? Well, I don't know, maybe I'd be a digestive. Mmm. That's a healthy digestive. Mmm. Mmm. Hello. Not spicy. Ginger biscuit, no. Yeah, I do. I think you're back there. Hmm. Yes, yes. Then no. No, I think you're back there. I mean, I like some of these. White chocolate jubbies. Huh? Oh. Maybe. Dark chocolate, yes. Dark, I do dark. Hmm. 
from a dark horse. <laughs> um, maybe a, maybe a cookie. Maybe a brownie. I think I'd be a brownie. <laughs> Come to think of it, I think I'd be any biscuit on offer. <laughs> mm, bye. <gasps> well, did you get it right? Yeah. Eddie is a good old Gary Baldy. Dipped in milk for good measure.